But what if the communication, the respect, and the romance in your marriage could improve dramatically by investing just five minutes of your day together? Well, you're about to meet a couple who have proof that it can. Best-selling author Squire Rushnell and his wife, Louise Duarte, have been praying together since the day they married, more than 15 years ago. In their book, The 40-Day Prayer Challenge, Squire and Louise explain how partnered prayer can restore relationships and the phenomenal things that happen when two people pray for five minutes a day. And please welcome back to the 700 Club, Squire Rushnell and Louise Duarte. Guys, it's so good, good to morning. see you. It's great to be back with all my old friends. I know. We'll have to like tone it down. I'm going to be all giddy because, you know, of course, we used to work together here and used to get to see you every day. <laughs> I know. But it's great to see you. Well, let's start with your personal story. How did you guys discover the power of partnered prayer? Well, we started praying together and we were absolutely astonished that so many prayers came answered. And it was also an experience that we had never had before. We had never thought of it. Like most people, we just never thought of praying together. Well, Squire, just a, a little background. Squire was married twice before. He had two twice before. So I'm Mrs. Rushnell the yes. third. <laughs> and uh, I was married for 20 years before. Yeah. So when we started praying, in, we really saw God not only enter into our marriage, but, but we had a peace that really, surpassed all understanding no matter what we were going through if there was a crisis in our life or something with the kids or financially we saw there was a solution to everything mm. so what we did is we went out and started talking about that with everyone about isn't it great when you know a couple prays and then we started realizing most couples really don't pray together don't. consistently yeah. yeah they may you know they pray at meals or mm -hmm. or they'll pray you know during a crisis you know yeah. but but they weren't praying together consistently and so we thought, gosh, we got to get people doing this. Well, I love that you talk about the three keys. Uh, explain the importance of speaking, believing, and then expecting the answer. Well, you know, God uh, created earth and the world by speaking it. He didn't think it. Let there be light. He spoke it. And when Jesus spoke about miracles, he spoke them. And so speaking your prayer is tremendously important. Ask and believe and you will receive is what we are told in the Bible. Right. And so speaking and believing and expecting that your prayer will be answered is tremendously important. But we take it that extra step. And that was, right. and it sounds like a brand new idea, this idea of partnered prayer. Right. You know, wherever we go and we talk, people say, oh, well, that's a great new idea. <laughs> well, it's not a new idea. <laughs> Jesus had the idea when he said, if two of you yeah. will agree and believe and ask in prayer, my Father will give it, it to you. It shall be done. That's and what so, the Bible says. And so we say, yeah. just join up yeah. and partner up. And this, this whole movement that we are trying to start here, the 40-Day Prayer Challenge, is not just about couples. Mm -hmm. Good. It is about <laughs> couples. Right. It is about two family members. It's about two friends. Mm -hmm. And we are partnered up with Baylor University and the first empirical research that's ever been done mm -hmm. on what happens when two people pray together consistently. Can you believe that? It's never that's been right. done. You, you have scientific research yes. proof yes. that partner prayer works. Yes. yes. I, I, how, how so? Well, when we went to Baylor University, we went to Barna, they said they'd never done any research. We went to Baylor, they said, well, we've never done any research, but we're gonna join you. And what, what they were able to do was to dig out some data that Gallup had done. And what they determined was that when Gallup asked the question of couples who prayed together sometimes versus a lot, that, the, that things happened differently, hmm. that romance, conversation and respect went up 20 to 30 percent when I, you pray a lot versus sometimes. And I read that one of the things that went up explan exponentially was joy and happiness. Yes, yes. joy and respect the and yeah. the fear of divorce drops to zero. Yeah. Now that wasn't even a, a wide report. That was something that was very small. What Baylor is about to do now and what we want people to do, because this, this is going to be historic and groundbreaking. Yeah. You go on 40daypray.com. Yeah. Mm. You go on the website, tells you everything you need to know, and then you take the survey. And it's an easy, fun survey. It's right. 10 minutes. You take it on the first day, and then you take it on the 40th day. And on the 40th day, you get a bar graph to see how 
how well you did. But it's in these four categories. There's married, unmarried, there's two uh, family members, and there's two friends. And mm. Wendy, I'm telling you, this is going to just blow everyone's mind because when you have data and you say, look, we've been telling you prayer works, but look, it's right here in black and white. Yeah. Louise, why five minutes a day and why, why a 40-day prayer challenge? Well, five minutes a day, we figured, okay, we're trying to make this so easy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it takes five minutes to brush your teeth, to comb your hair. Can you take five minutes to be with the creator of heaven and earth and everything in it? Five minutes is all we're asking. Because right. it is a little bit of a con job because we know once they see the joy in praying, it's going to increase. But start with five minutes. God will, what God can do for five minutes of communicating with him is just so powerful. It's like plugging into the, the most powerful source in the universe. Amen. People have, it's a gift, Wendy, that's left on your doorstep and people aren't opening it up. It's going to be tremendous. Well, I know Amen. in your book, you have many examples yes. of Answer prayers. Do you want yes. to give, give us a few? Well, let me talk about, we talk about the five minutes. Right. People are so busy. That's their biggest enemy against praying together are people praying together that are so busy. We say five minutes. That's, that's really important. We find that sometimes pastors even are so busy that they don't pray with their spouses. Mm. They, they say grace. They pray in crisis. They pray with the flock. But actually praying with their spouses, a lot of pastors are very much like the we, we were. Gee, I just didn't think of that. You know, I, I'm going to slip my mind. There's a wonderful story. Uh, Tim Keller of the Redeemer Church in New York. His wife, Kathy, had been suffering from Crohn's disease. Right. And it was right after 9-11, and there was a depression over New York. And, and that was just bearing down on Kathy. And she came to him, and she said, I need to have you do something with me, Tim. Hmm. She said, I need to have you pray with me every night. Every night. Now, his mind was going, you know, I'm going to travel. I'm doing, I'm going to. She said, every night? She said, every night. And then with the wisdom of a woman, she said, imagine a doctor told you that you were going to die. Wow. But if you took this pill, mm. every day you could live. Mm. Would you sometimes say, well, I think I'll forget about that? Or someday you'll forget about it and you'll not do it or you'll avoid it. No, you would take that pill every day. And Tim Keller said he realized that he needed to elevate prayer to a non-negotiable necessity. And for 15 years now, he can't remember a single day that he and Kathy haven't prayed together. Mm. It is an amazing gift that is there for us to, to open. That's, and that's what we do at 40dayprayed.com. We just tell you how to open your gift. And what is that scripture that Jesus says, whatever you ask for believing, it yes. shall be, be done. done. That's exactly right. And you know, if there's ever time to pray for Don't our country, it. it's now. Yeah. Second oh. Chronicles. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Yes. It's all about, it starts at prayer. Jesus did nothing without praying first. Prayer is mentioned over 500 times in the Bible. Pray. We have to pray. We got to pray just to make it today. Yes, That's we right. do. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, remember that? yeah. Well, this is so exciting. I am just savoring mm. this uh, through the 40. We've, today's the first day of Lent. That's so this right. is it a is. great time to it's pick this up. It's a good time to start. Mm -hmm. and Thousands of churches are coming on board already. Yeah. Some of the biggest churches in America, Lakewood and Gateway and Dr. Yeah. Stanley's church and A.R. Bernard's church. I mean, it's amazing to us. This is a movement that is mm. starting. And you go to 40daypray.com and join the movement. And it's That's free. That's what you need to do. It's no, there's no cost. No cost it's to the free. churches. It's free. Wonderful. Yeah. Yep. Better. So everything is done. Yep. All the research is being paid for by, we've got some angels yep. out there. So, okay. Can you guys pray that I have a date by Valentine's oh. Day? Oh, well, we're going to work I mean, on right? that Wednesday. Seven, I don't 15. know if I have faith for like a full-fledged <laughs> yeah. boyfriend by Valentine's Day. But maybe a date. <laughs> oh, yeah. A dinner, oh, yeah. A dinner, done. A dinner done. Date. In Jesus' okay. name. In Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this is an awesome, but great seeing you guys. Good to see you, Wendy. Well, for more information on the 40-day prayer challenge, just log on to CBN.com and be sure to pick up a copy of Squire and Louise's book, also called The 40-Day Prayer Challenge. It includes an eight-week study guide on unlocking the power of prayer, and it's available wherever books are sold. And this is very exciting. You have risen our expectation mm -hmm. levels, and we are ready. It so, will amaze you. Yes. I it's phenomenal. It. God phenomenal. bless you guys. Love you. Thank you.